earlier this season we talked about picking corn hybrids and that looking at defensive traits is going to be important, especially when it came to disease tolerance. Now in season, we have an opportunity once again to protect our crop from disease by using a fungicide once we get up to the V5 to V8 time frame. One of the interesting things we've noticed here in the last few years, because we've done a lot of trials on this, is in our region of the country, and where we farm, by the way, is in eastern South Dakota. When you get out into these western states, we just don't see the same response from a tassel application of fungicide that we typically see in Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, areas of the country where there's certainly a lot more disease pressure and a lot more rainfall than what we get here. For us, where we've typically had the best response from a fungicide has been in this V5 to V8, maybe V9 kind of timing. And one of the things I like about spraying early is we can spray it ourselves. When we go spray at tassel time, most of the time we have to call a plane in, that costs a bunch more money. I like it when it's a job we can do ourselves on the farm. So the big question here though is, when exactly is the right time I mean, personally, I would lean toward that V7, V8. Darren, what do you think in that, uh, let's call it V5 all the way to V9 kind of timing? When do you think's the best? I like waiting till a little bit later. I would love it if we could get fungicide on the ear leaf. When you think about grass production, grass crop production, I, I look at wheat. When you've got that flag leaf out there, it is so heavily impacting the final yield of that crop. If you can keep the flag leaf clean. The same thing is true in corn. If we can keep that ear leaf clean, that's just a great thing, a great opportunity for us to maximize the amount of sun we can catch on that leaf, the amount of energy we can pump into the ear, and ultimately the yield for the field. The big difference is the ear leaf comes out much earlier on corn than the flag leaf on wheat. The flag leaf on wheat, that's basically the last leaf that you're gonna look at, whereas the ear leaf, it's gonna be down on the plant a little ways. So that's where we talk about this spray timing. I just mentioned V7, V8, maybe it's V9, somewhere in there. That's a really good time to spray. Well, it gets tricky, because as you get a little bit later into that growing season, once you're past V8 or so, that corn plant's gonna be really susceptible to being injured. So if we've got an oil or a surfactant, for example, with that fungicide and we're driving everything into the plant fast, we can have some issues. We can have arrested ear development or other things happening that are a negative. We don't want any negative. So if we're going to wait and we're gonna push it back a little bit later, anytime between that V8 and, and when you're fully tasseled and starting to silk, I would say keep that surfactant out of there. That's going to be a good recommendation. Well, not just Darren saying this, every single company on the planet tells you don't put oil or surfactant in at that timing. In terms of which fungicide to use, there are lots of great ones out there. The number one thing we're gonna say is use something that has multiple modes of action. We worry a lot about disease resistance. So if you can get something that's got two or three modes of action on our farm, we have actually seen the best results from three mode of action products or put it another way, we've taken half rates of two different products that each had two modes of action. Well, when we combined them, we now had three modes of action and for us that worked good. So you can experiment with all the different products that there are available, but just try to find something that's got two to three modes of action, either mix yourself or get a premix. It's also important to remember how fungicides work. They're only gonna protect the parts of the plant that you spray them on. So if your spray coverage is only getting you a couple of leaves into the canopy, that's all the further you're gonna get protection from disease. And some of these diseases like northern corn leaf blight or gray leaf spot can start from the lower parts of the plant and move up. So we wanna try and get protection through that canopy as best we can. So do check to see what kind of coverage you're getting through that crop to make sure you're getting the best. I, I like finer droplets as opposed to great big droplets. That's going to help you. And then you're going to need more gallons of water and more pressure to push down through that canopy as well. If you have new leaves emerging a couple days after application, they are not going to be protected. And that's where that tasseling time application later on may come into effect. Last thing I wanted to get to is cost. Now, a lot of times we've talked about small crops. You can actually use a half rate because the crop is really tiny and there's nothing wrong with that. So I would just say this, the bigger the crop, the higher the rate is gonna have to be. But beyond that, let's take a look at cost. 
with a lot of the rebate programs, with a lot of the cost reductions out there, your cost for fungicide will be less than it was last year, and that is a really, really good thing. In some cases, you can get some full rates of multiple mode of action products, depending on if you're in on the rebate programs, for four to seven dollars an acre. It's unbelievable, full rates. So I would just tell you, make sure you're talking to your agronomist. It depends a lot on what else you bought earlier in the year and what direction you want to go now and certainly what rate you want to use. But don't let the cost stand in your way. I'm just trying to say you have this thing in your mind saying, oh, it's going to cost me $20. It's not going to cost you $20. It should cost you $10 or less in a lot of cases. So make sure you're talking to your agronomist. So as your corn reaches that V5 to V8 window, you may consider using a fungicide application. We see some good benefits for preventing disease and also for plant health, which ultimately results in more yield. One other thing that will help you get more yield is stopping our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed?